Hello guys, welcome to tech for your channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to upgrade from digital offer to innovator package, which is the package from 7 LPA to 12 LPA. So this innovator exam happens before joining similar to the digital exam and what are the stages to upgrade then what are the tracks then how to choose the track so all these things we'll discuss in today's video don't skip the video subscribe to tech for you channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates on time the exam for upgradation process is known as wings one or elevate wings and this wings one exam is divided into two categories one is tech track and the other is non-tech track and this tech track consists of three things TSLP, DCA and UE. UE is nothing but the external certifications. Then non-tech track consists of business skill, process, articulation. So the wings one consists of mixed of this tech track and the non-tech track. If you are the ninja candidate, then I have already posted the video like how to upgrade from ninja to digital after joining. And one more question is, is this innovator exam takes place before joining? No, this innovator exam will be conducted once after you join TCS. Now we will see about the stages for the upgradation process. So the first stage is innovator coding challenge. Then after completing the innovator coding challenge, you have to move for business skill, then process, articulation, then you can choose any one of TSLP or DCA or UE. So now we will discuss each and every stage one by one. So the stage one is innovator coding challenge. For the innovator coding challenge, you have to choose TSLP. So this TSLP consists of T1 to T9 tracks, which means there are seven tracks, T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T7 and T9. So there are seven tracks from T1 to T9. To eligible for this innovator coding challenge, this is the prerequisite. And this TSLP consists of MCQ and hands-on. For example, now if you are choosing this T5 track, which is related to cloud. So you will be getting some 30 questions of MCQs related to cloud and the hands-on related to cloud. So that hands-on will not be like Python or Java. It is fully dependent on the track whichever you are choosing on. You have to clear this exam. Clear in the sense just pass is enough. So this is the eligibility to write the innovator coding challenge. Then you will be writing the innovator coding which is also hands on. In this innovator challenge you have to get distinction. Distinction in the sense you have to get more than 70%. Then the stage 2 is you can choose any one business skills. I already told about the non-technical skills like business skill, process and articulation. And in this business skills itself, there are two to three variations like business skills one, business skills two and business skills three. So you can choose any one from that and you have to get distinction, which is more than 70% in that exam. Then you can choose any one process and any one articulation and you have to get distinction. Then coming to stage 5, this stage 5 actually consists of TSLP or DCA or UE. In TSLP you will be having the tracks from T1 to T9 so you can choose either of one track and you have to attend the assessment. Like you will be having 30 MCQs and one hands on. Then in DCA you will be having 21 categories listed here starting from Java, C Sharp, Python, microservices. So you can choose any one from these 21 and you will be having 30 MCQs and two coding questions related to the language which you have chosen. Okay, now I said about TSLP, then DCA. Now what is mean by this UE? UE is nothing but doing the external certification. For example, here I have taken the example of Azure, GCP and AWS. So these are just three examples but there will be more external certifications. So you can choose any of the external certification and you have to get the certificate for that. The certificate process is like you have to write the exam for that in a particular domain. For example, if you are choosing this Microsoft Azure, then you will be writing this Microsoft Azure exam 
by registering to the exam in Microsoft website. So to get pass in Microsoft Azure exam is 700 marks after completed the exam and once you pass your certification will be generated and you will be submitting this certification in a particular platform called IEVOLVE. Once after your certification is accepted and approved this stage is completed. Now one more doubt is I told the fifth stage consists of TSLP or DCA or UE. While you are doing for the stage 1 innovator coding challenge the step 1 is to complete TSLP by choosing any one of the track and attending that MCQs and hands on. So if you cleared this TSLP with distinction in the stage 1 then you need not do the stage 5. Suppose in the case you did not get the distinction in this TSLP while you are doing in stage 1 then you have to do the stage 5 you can choose either TSLP or DCA or UE. Since this fifth stage consists of TSLP or DCA or UE. So that's all about today's video. Hope this video helps in knowing about the upgradation to innovator profile. Subscribe to tech for You channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates on time. Meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.